Hey you guys, it's Recky. So today I thought I would address a topic that is near and dear to my heart, which is YouTube. Now YouTube is really awesome for creators and I'm sure you noticed I use it quite a lot because my channel has quite a lot of videos of its own. Um, that's not what I want to talk to you about though. YouTube is really great from the creator side and not quite as great from the user experience side. So that means that those of us who are creators who are often also users or we wouldn't have gotten into creating in the first place are also experiencing quite a few of these issues. And the issue that particularly annoys me is the playlist issue. And I don't mean these kinds of playlists. So for example, you know, um, if you go to my channel, now why didn't it do that? There it goes. That was odd. Okay. So if you go to my channel, you can see all of the different playlists that I have created and I can go into any one of these and I can change them so that they are organized in the way in which I want. And now that, let me point out here, there's kind of a caveat to that because there's only certain ways in which you can actually organize them or um, you can drag and drop them but you can't automatically organize them. And as a user, you can't always you can't change that organization when you look at someone else's list or you can organize by date or by the ones that are the most popular, but you can't put them in any other real order. So this is okay for what it is. It's not perfect, but it's okay for what it is. What I'm talking about is when you do a search and you find a great video you want on YouTube. So for example, let's search for uh, Tim Holtz and see what he's got up. All right, so he's got some great stuff up on stamps and the various different, uh, oh, nope, that's his sales stuff. This is, here we go. So he's got some stuff on his new product offerings, which is the Distress Lumberjack Plaid ink line and uh, some of the Christmas stuff that he has happening. And it looks like there's a lot of nice stuff here. The new watercolor pencil line. So let's just select this one. Let's say I really like this video. And I if wanna keep read. track of his work. I wanna keep track of this product line because I wanna make sure that I can find this product line at some point in time again when I'm looking to do this kind of work and then I know which products I wanna buy. So YouTube provides you with a great way to do that. You hit this little button over here that says save and if you can't find it here, you can hit, usually hit the three dots and it's hidden away in the little three dots expansion menu. But you hit save and it pops up a list of saved playlists that you've created for organizing the content that you want to remember and you can even create a new playlist and it'll automatically add something to it now here's where the problem comes in the problem comes in in the fact that youtube organizes these by the last things you have used so you'll see i've got art here i've got digital business set up i've got my art and you'll also see some of them are locked some of them are public um, and some of them are out of alphabetical order. So I've got, you know, topics of interest, on point in West Point, Project Zomboid, interludes. There's no organization to this. So if you have a lot of playlists because you are trying to organize a great deal of other people's content that you want to reference for projects or to be able to recommend to your viewers, then you wind up with this kind of mess. And finding where you want to save a single video means a lot of this kind of scrolling. And this is not any better on the YouTube page because here are all my playlists. 
and they're in the same order that they are in when I try to save something. And again, nothing is in alphabetical order. And furthermore, there is no difference between prep playlists that I have up for the public versus the playlists, for example, like uh, these charisma videos that I have saved so that I can go back to them later or these drawing tutorials that I have saved so that I can go back to them later. They're all in the same list. There's no visual way of knowing which ones are public and which ones are private. If I accidentally set a playlist that I have saved because I'm trying to learn about drawing or this is one of my favorite artists and I'm trying to keep track of his work, there's no way I can tell did I accidentally set this public or private. I have to come in here and I have to drill into it and I have to have a look at its playlist settings in order to determine some things, but even that doesn't tell me whether it's public or private. So there's a lot in my opinion that is broken about this particular system. And lest you think that I started this video with an intent to do nothing but complain, I'd like to show you something that I'm doing in place of this. Now, I don't know if any of the other browsers have this feature, but I'm on Safari and Safari has a great feature that I have been using for this. So let's say that I want to keep track of all of these different art videos because they represent different artists and different particular things that I'm interested in on a hobby level. They're not things I would normally share on my channel. What you can do if you are on Safari is use a new future, a new, excuse me, I'm mush mouth today, use a new feature that they have just recently added, which is called tab grouping. And how tab grouping works is you can have several tabs or even one tab that you want to save and you right click it and you choose move to tab group. So for example, if I have a drawing topic, I can automatically put this into the drawing topic. If I don't have a drawing topic, I can select new tab group. It automatically moves that one video into its own group all by itself. I can rename the group here automatically. It's highlighted and now I'm in drawing. And if I close the tab group, which pops up down the side here, you'll see I've only got one tab open now and it is just one page with the single tab that I just created in it. Well, where did the rest of my tabs go that I had open? They're here. So I can switch back to them easily. And that one video that I was looking at is now gone. And now that I've created a tab group for my drawings, I can just go through and say move to tab group drawing, move to tab group drawing, move to tab group drawing, put all of these in a tab group that I created for drawing. They are now out of my main browsing area. And if I ever want to look at them, I just click here, select the drawing tab group and just my drawing tabs open. And this is basically the same thing as my saved drawing playlist, except in one area. And the reason I prefer to do it this way is because now, I can go back to my tabs by opening the tab browser and all I have to do to reorganize this is click on it over here by the thing, hold it for a second and pull in and then I can pretty much just reorganize these in any way that I want. And that means that I can alphabetize my playlists how I want. So of course, because I have other things going on in here, I also have 
a tab for affiliate marketing with a bunch of websites about affiliate marketing and I like to keep track of ancestry stuff I've been working on a family tree for my family so I have a tab for that I'm in the process of redoing uh, some of my house so I've got a whole bunch of different stuff on different flooring products and uh, the makeover that I want to do for my bedroom and I'm fond of board games so I have different types of um, board game sites you know whether they have to do with things to make to make a board game better better or board game reviews or board game geek which is one of my favorite all-around sites for board games so I don't just use this feature specifically for YouTube videos but it enables me to categorize things in such a way that I can group my videos with whatever research I'm doing. So in this case, I have all of my game development stuff in one spot, including some game development videos that I happen to like that teach me how to do different things or talk to different creators about their careers. So this feature, I feel like, is the kind of thing that we really need to see overall on YouTube. I mean, obviously, YouTube isn't going to want us to be able to uh, group outside sites. It's not necessary because YouTube is just a video site. But improvement on how YouTube works to allow us to alphabetize our playlists would be just a huge improvement. And I'd like to see a way to separate my private stuff from my public stuff. Now, I, I realize a lot of people have two different channels. They post their public stuff on one channel, their private stuff on another. But as a creative, I tend to uh, follow a lot of other artists and comment on their stuff as my channel to draw attention to my channel as well. And it's kind of a symbiotic relationship. A lot of other creatives do this, which means that in order to save those things, now I've got public and private playlists mixed up. I cannot separate them. I cannot easily distinguish them at a glance and I can't organize my numerous playlists in any way to make it easier for myself. So hopefully uh, this tip will help you guys. It, it's the way I'm moving towards. The, I did some research on uh, the issue with Google not having a way to set up your organize your playlist list not the playlist you've created but the playlist list that I showed you down the side and there's almost 1400 people following that particular thread it has been locked it has been going for a few years now and it doesn't look like YouTube is going to do anything about this particular issue so my love-hate relationship with YouTube continues and here's a tip for you if you happen to be on a Mac or you happen to be using Safari, you can just bypass the problem by organizing stuff into tab groups. So that's all we can do at this point in time. And I hope you guys have a great day and I'll talk to you again soon. Take care.